What's up guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Ben Neighbors. If you are not subscribed yet to our channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. This is for you if you are a personal trainer or a coach that's looking to grow your training business. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about three effective habits that successful coaches have and before I dig into that, I want to just be very transparent with you. When I started my business, I did not do anything that I'm talking about. And I do know most business owners, when they start, they don't do this. And most human beings on the planet, whether they have a business or not, do not do what I'm talking about. So just know that I'm a normal dude. When I started, I didn't do this. This took me time to get good at. And this took me time to master. Once I mastered this, it's helped me. And it's now had, had a compounded, I would say, interest in the coaches that we help. Because this is ultimately what I teach. All right. So let's dig straight into this. And while I'm talking, I want you to think about yourself and think, you know, if you do these things or not. So I have my list right here. Number one. All right. And there's three things. Number one. You own your schedule. And the easiest way I can explain what this means is before you go to bed, you write out what you're doing tomorrow. If you don't do that, then you have no idea what you are doing tomorrow. And tomorrow is in someone else's hands. That means when you wake up in the morning, your phone can go off, your email can go off, you get completely distracted, and your day is completely finished from the moment you wake up. That's your fault, right? So if you own the day, that means you wake up, you're on a mission. That means you wake up, you crank out what you need to do during the time you're working. You're not doing busy work. You're not playing around or goofing around on Instagram, right? You are effective, you are efficient, but you know what you're spending your time on. And here's the thing, most people who want to start a business, they think, oh, well, I'm gonna have so much free time when I start my business. That's true if you're really structured with how you operate, right? You can have a lot of freedom if you're really structured with how you spend your time. You will have zero freedom if you, do ha if you have zero, <laughs> Structure, right? So if you have a lot of structure of your time, you gain more freedom. Zero structure, no freedom. That's how it works, all right? And I know a lot of people are in fantasy land when they think, oh, well, I don't wanna work 40 hours a week. So I'm just gonna start my business and work 20 hours a week. Well, what are you doing that during those 20 hours? What are you doing hour by hour? And it's kind of hard to see all right, as I'm shooting this video, like once I get done, I'm filling out here and you can see at the bottom there, it's kind of hard to see. Um, what that is, it's the next three days of my work. All right, I'm filling out hour by hour what that is. And when I know what that is, when I get into the office tomorrow, I don't have to guess. I show up, I look at that over there. I don't need to get distracted because I know what needs to be done. All right, and if I own my day, that means I do two things. Number one, I set my schedule. My clients don't set my schedule, I set it, all right? Number two, this is a personal rule I have and it's on my rules, on my whiteboard, all right? And it's the second to the last rule is I only take scheduled calls. The only people who can get to me during the day, right? It's my wife, my brothers, my mom and my dad, no one else gets to me. It's physically impossible for them to get to me. If they call me, I can't, I can't pick up, right? That's a rule I've set, right? And think about how often you probably get distracted. Someone sends you a text and you go down a four hour text exchange about nothing, right? So that's up to you. You can either be really structured and have a lot of free time, or you have zero structure and no free time, right? This is why during the week, 
I can get done with my work day early and go do whatever the heck I want. That's by design. I've set my business up that way. It's not lucky, right? But I know what I need to do during the day because I script out what that is. And here's the thing. If I don't have structure, I will be the most distracted person on the planet. Like I would love to sit around and watch Netflix all day and watch Friday night tykes and eat dominoes. That sounds amazing, but that's not going to move my mission forward. What's going to move my mission forward is before I go to bed, I write out what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm going to go do that. And I'm going to do that every single day, Monday through Friday. And when I do that, I can move forward with what I'm doing. I'm, I can plow ahead daily and get results. That's very different than waking up and having zero structure. And when you have no structure, you have zero sense of purpose because you don't know what to do. You don't know how to spend your time and you'll let others dictate how you live your life. And that's your choice. How you spend your time, that's up to you. I can't come over to your house and knock on your door at six o'clock in the morning and tell you to wake up and tell you what to do. That's on you. Smart business owners and the best business owners I've ever worked with, they have this on lockdown. Before they go to bed, they know what they're doing tomorrow. I know what I'm doing on an hour by hour basis all day. And trust me when I say this, no one's cutting into my time. Like when I shoot these YouTube videos, these are all scheduled, they're on my calendar. I don't just randomly do these, right? It'd be physically impossible for me to just randomly shoot videos and spend so much time on here, right? So own your schedule. Should be pretty clear. Number two, you should be goal oriented. This is something I used to never do. I used to think, oh, well, I want to add more clients this month. And ask yourself the question, what's your goal? Like, what's your goal with your business? What's your uh, client goal? What do you want your clients to achieve? What do you want to achieve with your business? How many new clients do you want to add? Uh, what do you want your monthly revenue to be in three months from now? Like, what is your goal? Do you have a goal? Most people don't have goals. I know if I called you right now and I said, hey, what's your goal six months from now? If you don't know that, if you don't know that answer, <laughs> um, what are we doing here? Right? If you're not critically thinking, what are your goals? Then why are you working? Why are you working hard? If you don't know what you're working towards, right? We're just blindly shooting out into the open. We have zero target. So we got to understand what are your goals for everything, all right? What are your sales goals? What are your goals with your email newsletter this month? Like how many emails are you going to send? What are your goals with social media? How many videos are you going to upload? All right. I can go on and on and on about why that's important. But when you are goal oriented, you have something that you can shoot for. And you have a target. And when that's set up, it's a lot easier to move forward with what you're doing. And it's also a lot easier to understand what your progress is. Because you can see in front of you what it is you want to do and why you want to do it. All right? Pretty clear stuff. Third, I would say this is what makes or breaks a lot of coaches out there and personal trainers. And what it is, is they're motivated and they're not disciplined. So we need to flip that. And it needs to be you're disciplined and you're not motivated. Right? And I'll tell you, <laughs> hey, sometimes coaches will text me and be like, Ben, you just motivated me so much on your YouTube channel. And I want to start my business now. That is a red flag for me. When I get that text from you, it's a red flag. That's telling me it's a uh, out of the blue idea and you're excited because you saw someone talk about the thing you want to do. That's not going to cut it. That's not going to help you have a successful business. You have to do the little details, the things no one else wants to do to succeed. You have to wake up daily. And that's why I said at the beginning, if you own your schedule, you're going to be disciplined, right? If you're goal oriented, you're going to be disciplined. I don't get motivated. All right. Let's, let's be very clear here. There's nothing that's going to go fire me up to work harder tomorrow than I am today. I can't go watch a Tony Robbins video tomorrow and say, yes, 
I, I'm going to go work harder today. If I do that, I'm fooling myself. And that's the difference between someone who's looking at this, uh, you know, with business as very short term versus long term. I'm going to be here for decades, right? Soon enough, I'm going to be shaving my head because I'm losing all my hair, right? And after that, you're going to see, like, I'm just going to keep getting older and older and older, but I'm going to stay here, right? I'm not going anywhere. And that's because I'm disciplined. And I challenge you to think. You know, when you work hard, are you just motivated to do that? Is it like a one time a week thing, a one time a month thing? Or are you disciplined to actually do it? And that should be a non-negotiable for you. And here's the best part about what I'm talking about. You don't have to be a genius to own your schedule. You don't have to be a genius to be goal oriented. You don't have to be a genius to be disciplined. You have to want it more than other people. And I'll tell you, like, I have zero shame saying this on YouTube. There's a lot of other coaches out there. They're smarter. They're better looking. They have more charisma. They're friendlier. Um, they probably work longer hours than I do. Um, they're really likable. I, and I could just keep counting, but I'm holding the mic with, with this hand. Uh, I could just keep going, but I'll tell you where I'm going to outlast the other coach on the treadmill is I'm more disciplined and I don't have to be the smartest person on the planet to do that. Neither do you. This is why when you look at your competition in your area or in the country or in your region, whatever, whoever your competitors are, you should know if you're the more disciplined coach or personal trainer, you're going to outlast them. That should be an advantage for you. And it will be a massive disadvantage for you if you wake up all motivated every Thursday at nine o'clock in the morning after you had 40 beers the night before. <laughs> Doesn't work that way, all right? So again, let's recap. You own your schedule. So you either own it or someone else owns it, all right? I'd rather wake up knowing, all right, this is what I'm doing today. And again, when you own your schedule, you ultimately create a lot of freedom, not just in your business, but in your personal life, which is really important. Like for me, I want to hang out with my wife. I don't want to sit in this office all day long with Cowboy. I don't need to do that. All right? I need to work smarter, but I need to follow my schedule that I set and no one interrupts that schedule. Like I don't change what I do during the day. I write it down, I do it, and I complete it. That's number one. Number two. We're goal oriented. We know what the heck we're doing. We know why we're doing it. Like again, in a recent video, I showed my whiteboard and I talked about, you know, what's my sales goal for this new project that I'm working on. It's a hundred clients before January 1st. That's my target. I will hit it. Like I'm not going to miss my target. I know what my target is. It's staring me in the face every single day when I walk into this office. So I know what needs to be done. Right. Lastly, we're disciplined and we're not motivated. If you wake up motivated, you're done. Like you cannot rely on that to succeed. That's the difference between amateurs and pros. Pros show up to do it. Great example. If you don't know who Cal Ripken is, right? I actually don't like baseball at all, but I do know his story. <laughs> and I know he went like, several hundred, I don't know, probably thousands of games without missing, right? You think he was motivated to wake up and go play baseball every day? No, he did it. That's a pro. Pros show up. They don't skip. All right? They don't skip practice. They don't skip games. They don't sleep in. They don't watch a, a Gary Vee video and get all happy and excited. They don't do that. They hone in on what they're doing and they do it because they know if they don't do it, someone else is going to be better than them. That's it. Hopefully this helps you. And uh, I promise you, if you instill these three habits in your business, you have no idea where you can be in 12 months from now. Like you will be on a different stratosphere with your confidence, with what you do day to day in your operations, um, with the goals that you achieve in 12 months from now. It's crazy what you can do. 
but we can talk about it all we want. Are you going to take action? That's all I care about. And I know 99.9% .9 of coaches will watch this and be like, oh, that's awesome. And then they're not going to do anything. So don't be that guy. Be different. Right? Do what I'm talking about. Like, I'm not just making this up. I do this. It works. The most successful coaches I help do this. Right? Any successful person I've ever spoken to, which I've spoken to a lot of them, they do exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm not just making this up. That's it. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video. Text me if you have any questions. My number is 210-960-5771. That's it. I'll holler at you later.